In this video I'm going to talk to you about binary. I want to show you how binary numbers uh, are worked out, um, how to convert our numbers into binary and how to convert binary numbers back into our number system. Now binary numbers are made up of ones and zeros and they are the language of computers. So it is quite important that we understand what they are. Um, a binary number might look something like this. Okay. Um, and at first glance, it can be quite daunting. You're like, oh, I have no idea what binary numbers mean. And those of you who watch The Matrix will think, oh my God, that's uh, a bit crazy. But it, there, there's a lot of uh, sense in binary numbers, and hopefully it will make sense in a moment. So the first binary number I want to show you is 1. Now, a binary value of 1 is equal to 1. Uh, a binary value of 0 is, at, is equal to 0. The number 2 can be represented by doing 1 and 0. That's 2. Uh, 3 would be two ones. 4 would be 1, 0, 0. Uh, and 5 would be 1, 0, 1. 6 would be 1, 1, 0. And 7 would be 1, 1, 1. And I'm just going to do 1 for 8. 1, 0, 0, 0. Was eight. Okay, so how does this work? Well, if, if you draw yourself like a little table, okay, the first column in your table is going to start on uh, the right. Now, usually we go from left to right, but actually with binary, we go right to left. So the first value is going to be worth one, the second value is going to be worth two, the next one's going to be worth four, the next one's going to be worth eight, 16, 32, and you just keep doubling every time you add on a new column. So if we take our first number, uh, which was zero, um, if we just put zero in there, the zero basically means don't count this value. Okay, so the first value is actually equal to one. Because it's a zero in it, we're not counting it. If we put a one in there, it means count it. So one on its own is equal to one bit, or, or sorry, the value of one. 1 bit equals 1. The next number was 2, and that was 1, 0. So there's a 1 under the 2 column, and there's a 0 under the 1 column. That means we count the 2 column, but we don't count the 1 column. So it's 2, because that's the value of the column, 2 plus 1, or rather 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. If we do 1, 1, it's the value of 2, because there's a there's a there's a, a one in this one, and the value of one, because there's a one in this one, then one plus one is equal to three. The next one was one, zero, zero. That's equal to four, because there's a one under the four column. There's a nothing under the two column, and there's nothing under the three uh, under the one column. So it's four plus nothing plus nothing equals four. One, zero, one equals five. That's four because of the four column, nothing under the two column, but a one under the one column, four plus, five, uh, four plus one equals five. Then we've got one, one, zero. That's equal to six because four plus two plus nothing is equal to six. Then we had one, one, one. That was equal to seven because four plus two plus 1, that's equal to 7. We then had 8, which was 1, 0, 0, 0, which is equal to 8, because 8 plus nothing plus nothing plus nothing is equal to 8. And it goes on, so 9 would be 1, 0, 0, 1, and then we'd have 1, 0, 1, 0 equals 10, etc. And with 8 bits, the highest number we can have is 15, um, and with 5 bits, the highest number is 31, and that's just how it works. So that's the first part. So that's, that's, um, that's calculating, uh, well, converting our numbers into a binary. So the way to, to, to do it the other way around, all we need to do is uh, kind of work backwards. So if we have a number here, let's um, take a simple one, just 4 bits. 
So we have the numbers 1, 1, 0, 1. What do we do? Well, if we put above these numbers what they're worth, so that's 1, that's worth 2, that's worth 4, and that's worth 8, all we need to do is add them together. So here it's 8 plus 4 plus nothing plus 1. Well, that's 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Let's take another one. 1, 0, 0, 1. Again, we'd write the numbers above. 1, 2, 4, and 8. Oops. And 8. We've got 8. Not very good with my 8s today. 8 plus nothing plus nothing plus 1. That's equal to 9. Let's take one more. 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay. Do it again. 1, 2, 4, 8. Here we've got 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus nothing. Well, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So the answer is 14. Okay. Now, one little cool little thing I can show you to help you out. If you're struggling with your binary numbers, something to always pay attention to. This last bit here, okay, the very last bit, if it's equal to 1, the number is always going to be odd. If it's equal to zero, the number will always be even. Okay, it's a nice little trick. So you look here, this one here, one one zero one. That's an odd number because it's equal to thirteen, odd, because it ends with a one. Okay, ends with a one. This one here, one zero zero one, ends with a nine. Well, sorry, ends with a one. It's equal to nine. Ends with a one, so it's an odd number. This one here, the last one, we had, let's pick a different colour, it ends with a zero, ends with a zero, and it's an even number. Okay? So always look out for the last number, it always helps you. Um, and most numbers that you need to be aware of when you're doing binary, more often than not, you're going to have eight bits. So just just so we're we're clear, as we've got a little bit of time left. The numbers always go from right to left. So the numbers we have, let's pick another colour. Let's go with the orange. So we've got 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Now, if they are all filled in with a 1, the highest number you can make is, I'll give you a chance to work it out yourself, see if you can get it right. It's 255. Five. The lowest number, of course, is if they're all zeros. The lowest number is going to be zero. Okay, so, what's a quick way of working this out? Well, look at this trick. If I have four bits, so let's do the uh, four bit number, uh, but we'll go, we'll start over here. So one, two, four, eight. What's the quickest way of working out what the largest number is going to be? Well, the next number in this list was going to be 16. So the highest number you can have out of four bits, out of these numbers, whoops, let's try again. The highest number you can have out of those four numbers is going to be one less than the next number. So it's one less than 16. So the highest number we can have out of 4 bits is 15. And if you look, if you have up to this point here, this one was a 1, this one was a 1, this one was a 1, 1, 1 and 1, the highest number you can make is going to be 63 because it's 1 less, 1 less than 64. And that's another little trick that you can have. Um, yeah. So that's the end of this video. That just shows you how binary works. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it makes sense. Practice your binary, it is a really useful skill.
I'll see you later.